This is CNN Breaking News. A live picture there on your screen of the space shuttle Atlantis. It is making its way back from space over the Pacific Ocean right now on its way to Edwards Air Force Base in California with a seven-member crew. This has been a 14-day mission. Remember, the drama of this mission, making spectacular repairs to the Hubble Space Telescope. I want to show you here on our map, this is Google Earth, and this is a live dot right here. This is the trajectory of the shuttle right home. You watch that dot as it moves. What it is doing is it is coming in. It is now in the Earth's atmosphere, as you can see the picture on TV. And here's how it would normally come. And most days, it would land here at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Instead, though, because of weather, thunderstorms in Florida, its destination is here, the backup landing strip at Edwards Air Force Base in California. CNN correspondent John Zarella joins us now from Miami. John, you've seen so many of these. What are we watching here in the final moments? Well, right now, uh, NASA is uh, showing us pictures coming in from the heads-up display. That's what the, uh, the astronauts are looking at, uh, Scott Altman, the commander, and Gregory Johnson, the pilot, uh, uh, as they are coming in uh, over the California coastline there, a clear shot of the shuttle Atlantis. And as you mentioned, they extended this mission a couple of days. They really wanted to go back to the Kennedy Space Center because every time they go to Edwards, it uh, costs them $2 million uh, to prep it at Edwards and then ferry it across the country on the 740 back to Florida and cost them a couple of weeks of prep time getting ready for the next mission. So they try as best they can to come back to Florida. They delayed two days waiting for the Atlanta weather to clear, but just too many thunderstorms out there in uh, over uh, all over Florida, in fact, here as well today, uh, to allow them to come back to Florida. So they'll be landing in, at Edwards oh, in the Mojave Desert uh, on what they call Runway 22, which is a hard surface out there. John? Let me show our viewers, John, stand by for me. As you watch Atlantis come down, here is the strip John was just talking about. There's the satellite imagery here from Google Earth. This is out at Mojave Desert at Edwards Air Force Base. And as you watch now, let's go back to a live picture of the shuttle coming in. It is descending at a rate of about 250 feet per second. I'm going to pause for a minute. Let's listen to the conversation between the crew and Mission Control. Atlantis copies. On at the 90. Twin sonic booms just heard at Edwards Air Force Base. You see the picture of this coming in. And John Zarella, help our viewers understand this is a multi, multi million dollar spacecraft that at the moment is a glider. Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, there are no engines any longer, no power, no propulsion. So once they fire their jets to re enter the Earth's atmosphere, from that point on, uh, the space shuttle is literally just a glider. Another reason why they can't come to Florida, because it's not like an airplane, you can't dodge thunderstorms. You're on your trajectory and you're coming in. And, and your trajectory is your trajectory. So here, obviously, we can see, John, absolutely clear blue skies out in California. Excellent weather for the, la uh, for the landing. You see the sun glistening off the space shuttle there, lining up now on the runway for this uh, final approach uh, into Edwards Air Force Base this morning. John? We're in the final minute of this approach. John, take about 15 seconds before we watch the last bit in silence to explain the significance of the Hubble repairs. Yeah, you know, Hubble uh, has had five space, five repair missions now. They spent about 35 hours in space repairing it. The hope is that all of these repairs and upgrades will give the Hubble Space Telescope another five to ten years life expectancy. I know uh, one astronaut, astronomer, there you go, the wheel, the gears are down now, told me that Hubble is a 1,000 times better instrument today than when it was first launched. Now, here we are on the final, about to touch down. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. It is a spectacular and a welcome sight. Space Shuttle Atlantis on the ground, Edward Air Force Base, California, after 14 days in space. You see the chute, the shuttle coming, slowing down as it makes its way up the runway. The 53rd shuttle mission. To 53rd shuttle mission. mission. You just heard Mission Control saying there. The Hubble Space Telescope repairs the most dramatic, most dramatic mission as part of this 
journey into space. You see the chute falling there, the shuttle gliding to the end of the runway. John Zarella, before we let you go, one more time for our viewers, because they had to land this out in California, they will now put this beautiful, although it's, it's a bit of a used vehicle, on the back of a 747 and bring it back to Florida at what cost? Well, they're going to prep it, and it costs about $2 million to uh, go ahead and prep it, and then the ferry across the country back to the Kennedy Space Center. And then they'll start prepping uh, Atlantis for its next mission. John? Spectacular sight, a full stop there. Edwards. We'll stop Edwards. You hear mission control and the flight crew talking to the crew there. Atlantis is home safely after a mission in space that included a 13-day mission, 5.3 million miles approximately in space. Let's just listen in for a second. Thank you, Houston. It was a thrill from start to finish. We've had a great ride. It took a whole team across the country to pull it off. Our hats are off to you all. Thank you so much. There are no post-landing deltas. We'll meet you on page 5-3 of the entry checklist. The crew will now go through their entry checklist before they depart the space shuttle Atlantis. Again, Atlantis home after a dramatic mission that included spectacular spacewalks and repairs to the Hubble Space Telescope. About 5.3 million miles in space, ending in the desert in California. The crew of Atlantis is home.